since a TEC controller needs to know the actual temperature of an object to be cooled, we will prepare the measurement first. In our model setup, we use an object, which represents, for example, a laser diode or an image sensor, two NTC sensors, one for the object and one for the heatsink, a pre-assembled temperature sensor cable and a heat shrink tube. Now maybe you asked yourself how to connect temperature sensors and maybe you wondered what the words two-wire and four-wire measurements mean. I will try to explain this in the following sequence. Please refer to the document 6154, the sensor cable specification, which you can find on our website. As you can see, the schematic shows our CAB6154 cable and the sensors. In most cases, temperature sensors only have two connectors. However, we have to distinguish between four and two wire measurement technique. In the first case, for PT100 and PT1000 sensors, four wire sensing is used and the resistance is measured using four conductors. The advantage is that the thermistor voltage is measured using different wires than those which are conducting the current. The pink and grey wires have to be soldered to one connector of the sensor and the green and yellow wires to the other connector. For an NTC thermistor, two-wire measurement is used. The controller uses only two conductors to measure the resistance. In our case, it's the pink and the green wires. The zinc temperature sensor has to be soldered to the brown and white wires. Now let's go back to our model. The sensor has been fixed to the object using a thermally conductive special glue. For the sake of convenience, we solder two conductors to each connector of the sensor, even if it's not necessary for NTC sensors. Of course, you can also assemble a known cable with just two wires, but you have to crimp the connector by yourself. The other sensor will be fixed to the heatsink later on. Finally, we can connect the sensors to the TEC controller. Since our goal is to control the temperature of an object, we have to use a Peltier element. A Peltier element can be seen as a heat pump. Therefore, on one side a Peltier element is absorbing the heat from a source object and on the other side it's dissipating the heat to a heat sink. The side where the heat is absorbed is often referred as the cold side. It is generally the side with a marking. Connect the red cable of the element to the connector OUT PLUS and the black cable to OUT MINUS. To control an object's temperature, we need to place the object on the cold side of the Peltier element. Between the Peltier element and the object, we place an aluminium plate to achieve an equal distribution of the temperature. The heatsink sensor has been fixed using a screw. The TEC controller cannot be powered by USB, hence we need an external power supply. Set the power supply to 24 volts and make sure the current limitation is high enough. Then connect the TEC controller to the power supply at the connector X1 and the ground to X2. Since everything is connected and prepared, our setup now looks like this. We mounted the TEC controller on a heatsink because the controller is also producing heat. Now you can switch on the power supply. The indicator on the bottom switches to green, which means a device is connected, and the device status is amber and ready. If there is an error with the device, the device status indicator becomes red.